All right, hello everyone and welcome back to Kotobo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Dock Rotate mod, which is being made by form user Pete Latroll. And what this glorious little piece of work looks to add into the game is a simple new functionality to the Clampotron docking ports that allows them to rotate. And I cannot tell you how much I love this mod, as I'm sure we've all experienced it in this game. You know, you're building a space station or something, and you dock your new module only to discover, oh, it's just a couple of degrees off from being symmetrical with everything else. And so you undock, rotate, dock again, rinse and repeat until it's all done. Well, with this plugin installed, you simply have to right click onto the docking port and rotate it however many degrees you need to get it to fit. And that is a wonderful tool. So let's jump into uh, the space plan hang for a nice little change of pace, just to have a look at the functionality that we do have here in build mode. Let's grab a Mark One lander can and then head down to coupling. And what's fun about this mod is that it doesn't actually add in any new parts. It adds in this rotation functionality to our existing Clampotron and Clampotron Jr. docking ports. Now these two have the ability to rotate. Now the Clampotron Senior is being worked on, but apparently because it's it's more complex because it has a uh, multiple sort of connection spots that it's it's a bit more difficult to get to spin. But hopefully that will come down the road. But for now we do at least have the Clampotron and Clampotron Junior. And what we can do here here in the build mode is right click and we have a couple of options. Now the first option is to enable or disable rotation. So if you have rotated to where you need it to be, enabled on of course, and then you never want it to move again, you can just disable it and never have the fear of accidentally moving it further. So that is always nice to be able to enable or disable that at will. Now the next thing we have is the rotation step and the rotation speed. Now when you do rotate, your only option is to tell it to rotate clockwise or counterclockwise. And it won't go forever, it will only go however many degrees you tell it to here in the rotation step. So if you tell it to go clockwise, it will go clockwise 15 degrees and then stop and it will do so at the rotation speed you have set here now by default it will move in 15 degree increments at a speed of five which is pretty darn slow but you can adjust that all the way down to zero which seems counterproductive and all the way up to 180 degrees and from a really slow speed of one to an actually pretty impressive speed of 90 which now makes me wonder if you could make a Kerbal Catapult out of this with that speed. Hmm, interesting. But yes, you have the ability to adjust these however you like. And what is fun about this is you not only have the ability to do so here in the build mode, but you have these same sliders out in the world. So you don't have to worry about setting something here and having to deal with it forever. You can change them on the fly. But it is handy to be able to set them in here because if we do skip ahead a little bit to action groups, we can of course add these to action groups. As you can see here, we have rotate clockwise and counterclockwise. And so if you already have these preset for a specific task, you can just click go on, you know, one through 10 and it will do that specific rotation, which can be pretty interesting. Uh, the, uh, what are the, the suggestions of how to use this on the mod page is perhaps a deployable arm. So you could set in several of these rotations all connected together so that it extends out to grab a satellite or something with a grappler. And I, I kind of like that idea. That is cool. But back to build mode and to talk about the rest of what we have here, which is simply one more button, and that is the reverse rotation. So like I said, you have clockwise and counterclockwise, and you can, you know, reverse that either by enabling or disabling and that that is what you can do 
in here, which again is still pretty powerful. You can, you know, set up multiple ones of these in action groups to build, like I said, a deployable arm or set up, say, a VTOL vehicle so all the Clampotrons rotate 90 degrees when you hit one button, 45 on another button, etc. Well, actually, no, scratch that. You can't change these uh, from the action groups, but you know, you can have 90 degrees up and then 90 degrees back down by going the opposite direction. There we go, that actually would work. So let's uh, actually leave here and take a look at a ship I have to show off testing of this on the runway. And there we are, my dock rotate test craft which has a couple of fun scenarios of how you might use it. So, of course, the big one which I see a good use for is when building space stations. Oh no, we have this wonderfully, perfectly aligned, you know, solar panel over here, but darn, when I docked this one, it wasn't right. We're in a very exaggerated angle, of course. It would probably only be off by a degree or two, but we now have the option to fix that. So if we right click on the docking port there, you'll see we have the same things we had in the build mode of rotation, enable or disable, the rotation steps, rotation speed, and the reverse. But now we have a couple of other options. We, of course, can tell it to go clockwise, at which point this one will go that default 15 degrees at a speed of five. We can, of course, tell it to go counterclockwise at, again, that 15 degrees at a speed of five. We also have the option to rotate to snap, which is useful for, you know, snapping to a, uh, you know, reciprocal one on the other side when you are docking, for instance, to help get you that perfect alignment. But for me, I really prefer actually just using these rotation steps. It, it, it just, just gives you a lot more fine-tuned control. Now we also have some other things here, the auto strut, which I'll get on in a moment. Let's continue on with the rotation. So of course, if we want this uh, solar panel here to match up with the one on the other side, we simply have to now tell it to rotate 90 degrees, and what the heck, let's do it at the fast speed of 90, and rotate, and there it goes. Probably not as fast as I was thinking, so probably wouldn't be useful for catapulting Kerbals, but hey, you know, you could still give it a try. Could be interesting. And there we go! These two solar panels are now aligned with one another. And of course, another use, like I mentioned earlier, is perhaps with VTOL engines. We've got two lovely engines here, and if I would have remembered to make another action group, there we go. We can have them activated, and there they are! We're ready for take off, which we're not actually going to do because, of course, we just flip. But at the hit of a button, just using the one key, I can now have them, through the action group, rotate from take off to flight mode. And on two, I have them rotating back to the opposite direction. So you can do that and have that fun control over a VTOL vehicle. Now, of course, at any point, we can go in here and adjust these, just like we could with any other docking port, but I like having them set. Oh god, I hit one again, which means we're now gonna go down. <laughs> uh, yeah, if we keep hitting one, it will just keep going in that one specific direction, which, hey, could be useful if you all of a sudden want to go in reverse. But there we are, we have the VTOL engines set to two different action groups, one to go clockwise and one to go counterclockwise. And it gives you a lot of fun uses. Now let's just throttle this thing all the way back down and return back to that auto strut thing. Now one issue, of course, for these for rotating is if you have struts. Uh, and this is both for the standard struts or, of course, if you have the auto struts installed. And if you do have auto struts, we can either show or hide auto struts to, you know, have a little bit of leeway. But if uh, you do just have a normal strut, say like this one, oh boy, this isn't gonna go well for it. And this is a warning to anyone using this mod. If it starts to rotate, rotating more, I probably should have had it going a faster speed. Yeah, it's eventually going to reach a point where, yeah, it just doesn't like it. There it goes! <laughs> so make sure that if you do have docking ports attached to anything that you want to rotate, 
don't attach it with a strut. It will inevitably break. And uh, yeah, that's just something to watch out for. But overall, this is an awesome mod. I really love having the ability to rotate these things to whatever degree I want it to at a whim. That is just so cool to have that ability through a simple plug-in. And if you ever do uninstall the mod, it won't break your game. Since this is just a plug-in, adding these Clampotrons into, or adding this functionality rather to the Clampotron, they're still Clampotrons. So if you get rid of this, uh, this mod, your ships and space stations will still be fine because your Clampotrons are still there doing their thing. And that is just always very, very nice to have. But yes, that is the Dock Rotate mod. It's just a fun little tool that I am very much enjoying having to play around with, and it will probably save me a whole heck of a lot of time when working with space stations, etc. So if you'd like to check out this little plugin for yourself, which I would definitely suggest that you go and do, you can take a look at the link in the description as per usual. But that is going to be it for today, my friends friends. I hope you all have enjoyed and of course that you do come back for the next episode but until that time, thank you for watching and as always, have a good one. A fly away! Or, you know, not because, yeah, those engines really weren't powerful enough, were they? Oh well, later folks!